show the um, view bar here. And I'm just going to actually bring up my um, do today list so I can see the way I have it set up because uh, I don't really remember. Um, okay, great. And shoot. There we go. Okay. So first, I've got... Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that you click on context. If this context folder isn't selected and you have, say, a certain context selected, um, it will actually, every time that you open your your um, do today list, it'll actually jump to whatever you have selected here when you made the perspective. So make sure you have your context selected. And I usually choose active um, for this. And then what I'm going to do is actually hide the whole thing by dragging this to the left, because I don't actually need to see any of that for the way that I'm going to be working. Um, you might want to keep it showing. I like to keep the things uh, sort of sleek and slim. Then I'm going to choose context here if you don't already have it. Under do, I'm going to choose project. Remaining, I'm going to choose, um, well, remaining. Uh, duration, any duration is fine. And I'm going to choose, and this is the important one, flagged. And what this is going to do is show only things that are flagged. Um, and that's why when I flag something, it automatically ends up in this list. The next thing you're going to want to do is go up to the View menu, go to Columns, and possibly hide Start Date. You don't really need to see it because if the Start Date hasn't come yet, um, it's not going to be in the list for sure. And since you're not editing anything in this in this um, perspective, you don't really need to see anything that you're not um, that's not important to actually getting it done. So the next thing you want to do, um, I usually keep Due Date, um, though you don't have to, and I like to keep the Estimating column. Because sometimes what I will do um, is actually, well, I'll show you that in a second. Then what you're going to do is, is size these columns, however you, um, you feel that they work best for you. Size the whole window, actually, if you can, um, to whatever size you feel is, um, is a pretty comfortable size. And now, once you've sized everything, you can actually hide the view bar. And I like to actually hide the whole toolbar. And I'll go ahead and size this again. Um, now, you're probably going to be adjusting the size uh, because the length of your overall list will change on a daily basis. But um, now you're going to go to Perspectives, Show Perspectives, and create a new perspective. And we're going to call this Do Today. Uh, and I'm going to call it Demo uh, because I already have a Do Today one. And you might want to add a uh, keyboard shortcut. But anyway, you're going to say Open in Context. And this is... Uh, Sort of optional, I like to choose this because I like to still be able to see my other stuff and I can actually move this window to other spaces if you're using Leopard um, while leaving my whole overarching list um, unchanged. So I'm going to click on Always Open a New Window. And you can also select a keyboard shortcut. I've already done that, so I'm not going to uh, right now. My keyboard shortcut is Command Option 3. Um, that's because I've changed some keyboard shortcuts for other things in here like the Inbox. Um, you can see is Command 3. I think the default for that is actually Command 1. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, and that's basically it. Once you've created that, you can go ahead and close the Perspectives window. And you can actually close this perspective. And I'm going to bring back open my, um, my thing here. Now, as I mentioned, uh, hopefully you created a default um, context perspective. So now if I go to Perspectives and choose... Um, where is it? We said, oh, wow, I spelled context wrong. Um, and I choose my perspective, my basic, per my, my basic context. Everything gets set back to the way that I usually like it for, um, context. Now, if I go back up here and I choose do today demo, which is the perspective we just created, it pops up this window that has all of the things that I have flagged. What I may do at this point, once I've flagged all of the things every day, is I may actually go in and put in a duration for things. So I'll say, like, um, that should take no more than, like, one minute. Um, move over old design. Um, look over old design. That should take, like, maybe three minutes. Um, decide what to wear at a meeting. That should take maybe five minutes. Um, and so I'll go through this, and that way I have some idea of how long these things should take. I mean, really, even though this seems like 
you know, it might be might seem like a lot to you. It's you know, it's it's actually only like maybe an hour's worth of work. Um, of course, normally I have more in here, but um, for the purpose of the video, I decided to break it down a little. And if you want to remove something, as I mentioned, you just remove the flag. Now it might not disappear right away. So if you want to see that change, uh, and I I'm actually thinking of writing Omni Omni Group a a little not bug report, but a little feature request if it could just remove it immediately. Um, in order to actually get that to show up, you have to close your perspective and then reopen it. And now it's gone because uh, it doesn't refresh right away for some reason. Um, anyway, that is basically a do today list. And hopefully you find that useful and hopefully you'll be able to get to zero every day. Um, by using this uh, new tool.